the Speaker Hardware Shop. As you can see, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm in a new shop. i got a pretty new torsion box table and nice slat wall up, but I'm not going to show you the rest of the shop because it's still a train wreck. I'm still trying to put it together. But uh, this time we're going to take, it a new, take a look at a new box from Speaker Hardware, the BMR Philharmonic. This is a really high performance, high end, small bookshelf cab that I was asked to flat pack. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to assemble this box. It's uh, a fairly complicated box for such a small box. I spent a lot of time designing and figuring out how to make this an easy box to assemble. So uh, we'll break it down and show you all the individual parts and away we go. Here's what you get when you order the BMR Philharmonic flat pack from Speaker Hardware. All the parts are pre-cut. You can see they're all biscuit slotted, pocket screwed. Uh, the baffle is already cut with all the recessed flushes. It's already got the three-quarter round over on it to minimize edge diffraction. The back has the port cut along with its recess cut out. There's the interior pieces for the uh, mid-range, the box it off on the inside, and there's the brace. And what you will also get, you'll get biscuits to put the box together and you get two sizes of pocket screws, an inch and a quarter and a one inch. All of the three quarter pieces use inch and a quarter pocket screws. These four pieces made out of half inch all use one inch pocket screws. It's really important that you use the right pocket screws in the right spot because otherwise they will pierce through and you'll see them on the exterior of the box. Here's what you need to assemble this cab. A couple of 12 inch clamps. If you have four, that's better. You can do it with just two. A six inch number two square driver for the pocket screws. This is an impact driver, that's what I use. If you're a first timer, I would suggest that you use a driver drill, not an impact driver, because with an impact driver, it has so much force, it can drive the pocket screws too deep and then they'll pierce the outside of wherever you're driving them. Tight bond glue or just any kind of good, good yellow quality wood glue. If you have a pin nailer, it makes it a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier. If you don't, it's fine. I designed the kit to be assembled without it. But if you have one, make use of it. Well, let's get started. The first thing we're going to install permanently is our brace and our mid-range back. So take a couple of biscuits and install a side. Do not glue this. Just put it in place. Take an inch and a quarter pocket screw and tack it down. We just need this for a reference right now. Then take your brace in a biscuit and you want to glue this joint and, and glue put glue in the pocket glue on the joint and glue in this pocket put it in place shove it over so everything is square and drive a couple of inch and a quarter pocket screws in it now we can remove the side because we don't need it. All we're looking for is a reference to make sure we got the width correct. <clears throat> now I want to build the mid-range box. And the first thing you do is you take the back, which looks like this, put it just, center it, and you can just center it by eye over the hole for the mid-range and then clamp it in place. And then take the sides, and you see the side has a spot for two pocket screws, one to go into the brace, one to go into the baffle. We put those on. And the reason we need this in the center is when you drive pocket screws, they want to pull in. They'll pull in sometimes as much of a, as a sixteenth, and if you, if you do this without that in place, it'll pull in so tight, nothing will fit. This keeps you from having to measure stuff out and figure things out. You just use your pieces for your, for your jig. And of course you'll have glue on all of these components. So take your brace off and you'll have to pry this out. It'll be pretty tight. And then it goes in place back here. And then you want to put a clamp on that. Pull it all up tight. Get everything nice and nice and flush, and then drive your pocket screws. And 
these are all one inch pocket screws because this is half inch plywood. And the last piece to install is the bottom. And you will probably have to drive it in. It will fit tight. And then it only has one pocket screw that goes into the brace. But that's really all it needs. Uh, you want to look that all over and make sure you haven't got any gaps. If you do, you can reach inside and fill those gaps with some caulking or something. You want to make sure that this little box is airtight to isolate that mid-range from the base frequencies out of the woofer. That's where we start, and from there we go on to the rest of the assembly. Okay, so we got our brace and our mid-box built. Let's finish up our assembly. So stick some biscuits in the side. Remember to, to glue the line and put glue in the pockets. And on this one, just put just put glue in the pockets. So let's install one side. And you want to make sure you glue this line also. There's no pocket screws here because it's too small. The brace is too thin for me to put one in. I'm just going to drive a couple of them just to hold it. You don't want to be watching me just standing here driving pocket screws. And then put in these biscuits. Install a top. You can see the top has two pocket screws in it. It doesn't have any going into the back because there's no way you can get to them. Now, if you only have two clamps, at this point I would stop and clamp this and clamp this and let that dry. If you have four clamps, you can keep going. Installing the last side, you kind of have to fidget a little bit because you're, you're hooking up a lot of biscuits all at once. Now, drive your pocket screws. And I screwed up on telling you how many tools you're going to need. You're also going to need a bit extension. Because the 6 inch bit won't reach this pocket screw in the front because of the brace. Or at least my drill won't fit in there to drive it. At that point, clamp it all up, let all of that dry before you install the back. And there are no pocket screws into the back because you couldn't reach them. You could possibly get to two of them through the driver, the woofer cutout, but it would be really it would be difficult. And your back, you will have to do some maneuvering and whacking to get it into place because once again you're fitting a bunch of biscuits all at once. Now at that point, if you have, you want to clamp it, you're going to clamp the back on. And if you only have two clamps, you can lay another piece of plywood on here and use it like a cleat 
to push to make your clamp push down all the way along um, or just lay some heavy weights on it anyway you do need to you do need to clamp that back that back and that's it that's how that box assembles it's real fast it's pretty easy um, it's just a great little cab I'm going to show you how the finished cab when it's assembled comes out you've got a, a rounded edge here but the exposed plywood edges because it's a butt joint cab are all on the top and the bottom um, you can round them over you can leave them square if you're going to stain and varnish the cabinet if you use general finishes gel wood stains either oil or water based either one you can create spectacular finishes on Baltic birch you don't need a preconditioner you don't need to do anything like that it works extremely well and even those edges will come out really nice uh, if you go to my Facebook page speaker hardware or my website speakerhardware.com you can see some examples of cabs that I've done uh, with the gel finishes with exposed plywood edges the other thing I need you to be aware of you can order the box two ways you can order it with all clear exterior or you can order it where it's not necessarily all clear and this is a football patch uh, finding completely clear Baltic birch has become problematic so if you're going to paint or veneer the box you can order it and some of them will be patched uh, you're going to cover them up anyway but if you're going to varnish and stain the cab you need to order it clear I have to charge a little extra for that because I waste so much plywood to make sure I get nice clear panels so that's the BMR Philharmonic I hope you enjoyed watching the video you can order this uh, flat pack at speakerhardware.com go to my search engine and uh, on my website and put in BMR or put in Philharmonic and it will find it for you. The website's fairly complex with lots of kits and sometimes it's hard to find things. Uh, you can order this box as a flat pack. You can order it assembled. Uh, if you want me to do some special router work on it, cut out your jack plate, just let me know. There'll be a message box on the on the form where you can leave me a message of any special things that you want done. Uh, there is an extra cost for some of those things. Uh, I'm really glad you watched. You can find us on Facebook at Speaker Hardware. You can find us at YouTube on at Speaker Hardware. And also my website, www.speakerhardware.com. Thanks for watching as always.